something. He wants to show you something tonight. Hallelujah, Lord. We exalt your name, Lord. You alone are worthy, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just bow down to you tonight, God, and tell you, Lord, that you are king over our lives, Lord, that you are the Alpha and Omega, that you are the beginning and the end, Lord Jesus, and nothing else in this world matters, Lord God. Nothing can compare to you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, that we have an opportunity to come here, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, that we have roofs over our heads, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the changes that have occurred within us. Just remember yourself when you first got saved. Remember how he has changed you. Just remember about all those things that he has delivered you from. And thank him for it because we don't thank him enough. We don't tell you, Lord, how much we love you, Jesus. We ask and ask and ask, Lord God. And sometimes all you want us to do is just spend time with you, Lord. Tell you how much we love you, Lord Jesus. Tell you how much we need you, Lord God. We need you, Jesus. We can't do this without you, Lord God. We cannot live in this world without you, Lord Jesus. We want more, Lord. Right now, God, we are declaring we want more of you, Jesus. We want more of you in our lives, Lord God. We want more of you in our church, Lord God. We want more of you in this youth group on Friday nights, Lord God. We want more of you in our schools, Lord Jesus. For more people to know who you are, Lord Jesus, to proclaim your name, Lord God. To have prayers in our, in our schools, in Jesus' name, God. We want more of you at our, at our jobs, in our workout spheres, Lord Jesus.
country, Lord Jesus, that needs you, Lord God. The president who needs you, Lord Jesus. I pray for your truth to become known with him, Lord God. Just, justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth will fear him. Amen. Guys, you may be sitting for a little bit. Uh, we're going to continue our service. Uh, hallelujah. What a wonderful, what a wonderful evening, right guys? Amen. What a blessed time here in this in this place, in the house of God. See, it's a Friday night. It's a Friday night, you know, everybody's tired. I understand. You know, me, I'm also tired from work. But, you know, this time is so special. This time is so special. You know, like, I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know, if you have a nice instrument here, if you have a nice worship team or not. Because God looks in your, in everybody's heart, you know. When you praise Him, when you open up your mouth, you know, you praise with, with, with the heart. 
And God sees that. And He, you know, He, he sees that. He sees through flesh. He sees through everything. He sees that. All right? Hallelujah. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to uh, probably collect. We have this uh, box. I always forget about it. She's good. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to collect our offerings as we always do. Uh, just remember, uh, we glorify God. Uh, you know, we honor Him with all our possessions, all, all that we have. And honor means basically, uh, you know, worship. Honor, that word honor means worship, okay? So uh, we, 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 we're we not giving to people, we're not giving to, you know, somebody, we give to God. That's at least what I do, and I, you know, like encourage everybody to do that the same, okay? Uh, while we do that, uh, I'm going to do a couple of announcements, and then we're going to move on with our service, okay? Uh, announcements. We have a service tomorrow. Service tomorrow. Church. Everybody excited? Woo! <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's uh, 28, 28 after that. We'll be, we'll be you all so welcome. Just come, all right? I've never seen you. And we have, a, we, we have a translator. We have a translator. Just welcome. You know, just come. Come. One, one just come. You know, one day. See how it goes, all right? I think God's trying to get me to come there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. definitely. <laughs> See, yeah. you're missing out. Why not? You know, just, just check it out. Just come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Just come, all right? So, everybody, welcome. Okay, so, um, it's a 2020, I said a 2020 National just uh, It's a 10, 10 30 a.m. It's not that early in the morning, so you still can sleep enough. It's much, you know, so much time to sleep. So just, just come. All right. Next, we we have um, we have cell groups. One cell group is held by Isaiah here in this in, in the office in the garage. Uh, it's in Russian. So everybody who Russian speaking guys, welcome. Uh, another one we have uh, is a sisters group in the uh, in the by two Tuesdays. All right. So if you sister, <laughs> all women, all sister, come and uh, enjoy this time. With, uh, you guys uh, speak Russian here, right? Yeah. It's a prayer. So it's, a prayer. it's mostly prayer. So we pray in well, you don't, you don't sleep. You, you don't sleep well during the, the, the Tuesday night. All the way there. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just but, um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a prayer. And okay. anyone can pray in whatever language you know. Okay. So, yeah. That's cool. So yeah, guys, come, come. All right. Uh, next, uh, I was just about to say the campus harvest, you know, but, but, it's, but it's it's over. Right? But it's not over in your hearts, right? I, I believe you guys have something to share. Uh, uh, many, how many of you guys been uh, this time? Woo! That's, you know, it's a big crowd, okay? All right. So uh, what I want to do now, I want to you know welcome everybody. I want to share. Uh, his testimony, her testimony, and uh, this is the good time right now. Just uh, you know, come and uh, share. What, uh, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. You want to yeah. come for it? Oh, okay. All right. Let's just. I don't want to race anybody. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Just uh, line up here. Line up here. All right. Good. What is the mic? All right. Hold the camera. I need a mic. How long do we make our testimony? Uh, let's, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it quick, all right? Because, yeah, let's do it quick. So we're not going to, you know, hold it. Hello, everybody. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Hi, I'm here. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, uh, we went to uh, Campus Harvest last week. And um, it was amazing. Uh, everybody, you know, who went there knows how great the power of God was. And that's the amazing thing. And the amazing thing about it, Hey guys, hey, oh, 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 hey, 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 I'm talking over here. Hey, come on, I know we're Christian out there. Anyway, um, so when we went, you know, when we went, the um, the power of God was oh, really the power of God was was there. But the most amazing thing for me was um, the unity. You know, and you guys know me, you know how big that is to me. You know that. That Christ wants to have a family, and you know, in Acts two, it talks a lot about that, how they, how everyone came together, and I feel that that's really where God's glory is demonstrated when the family comes together, and even though we have our differences and our faults, instead of holding against each other, we pray for one another and we come together. And I tell you, by the, the second day being there, you, I mean, anyone who was there can testify to that that we were really coming together on fire for God, and I came to face to face with my brokenness, you know. 
And one of the things that I let go at the altar was, um, some of you may know, for you girls just came in, you know, don't get nervous by this, but, you know, I, I, I'm kind of thinking my life is, you know, I, I, I've been looking for a Cinderella, you know, a wife, and, um, you know, although that can be a great thing, God wants us to get married in His timing, we can make an idol of a great thing, right? And uh, it can become a bad thing, so a great thing can come bad if we do it in improper time. So, I really laid that down um, at Campus Harvest, and I really, and I got healed. And not only that, there was something else mm-hmm. they were praying for me. Um, I, I had a spirit of rejection. I don't know how many of you can relate, but um, I've been rejected pretty much. I mean, I think we all have. Look at Jesus. He was, mm-hmm. no one rejected more than Jesus was. And um, I, I was really rejected a lot growing up. I mean, you know, I could get in the story of, story of, of, of rejection, um, you know, from family to, to people in school being picked on, to a lot of different things. And even though Jesus came in my life and has healed me, I guess there was still rejection roots. You know, there's roots sometimes. We don't even know them. They just come out of us. Mm-hmm. And they come out sometimes out of anger or, or, or different things. And we can pray in Jesus' name take away the anger. But until we get to the root, mm-hmm. don't go away. So I believe that um, a revelation came at this conference that the reason why I get angry is not necessarily because of anger in itself. Mm-hmm. Something deeper, rejection. And how many people? I don't know. It was like 10 people prayed over me. And uh, it was in the intercessory prayer, right? And it was during the prayer that I just felt the presence of God come and I really got healed from it. Um, mm-hmm. And I just, after that, I just felt so happy. And it was just so amazing and so beautiful. And, and the most amazing part of the testimony for me was um, afterwards um, at uh, Applebee's, Maria's early uh, party, we went to Applebee's. We, we were praying with this waitress in there, and there was like really? these other Christians in there, and we all, yeah, it was like 20 of us. We didn't even know them. They happened to be praying for another waitress. We were praying for one waitress, and we came together, and we had 20 believers in Applebee's yeah. praying. Like, I'm telling world you, world like, world it world was world the, world the, the fire did not stay in that building, okay? The fire <laughs> came with us to Applebee's, yeah. and the bosses saw it. And I, did, I prayed you to say the bosses got touched, yeah. okay? And it was amazing. And, um, and I said to them, I said, if you guys remember, I said, this is what my prayer has been answered. I want a family. And, and, and it's family is more than just coming to meetings. To me, this weekend, really, we got a family now, you know, in Christ. And we're going to go forth. And, um, you know, and then uh, one thing I'll just say, uh, somebody in this room said to me, said, you know, Vinny, you know, we thought you were crazy. But, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, God really showed us that, you know, your vision to become like a child is, is really, I don't know how she said it, but she said it's good and we respect it now. And, and we just took it to the streets. And we were doing, I was doing my song, I fly, I'm like a walk in the walk, mother fly. I'm a butter, butter, I'm a butter fly. And yeah, you should have been there. And like, you this one cry, I just came in my car, like, they were looking, and like, and, and Oksana was trying to sing along, have a little hard time, but we, you know, we, 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 we had, but like, the point was is that it was like everywhere we were going, from Applebee's to people on the street to the circle revival with the, the guy who got out of prison. To the shark, the shark guy was doing circles around us, you know. Everywhere we were going, on the train, the Holy Spirit was using us as a... But we, it wasn't just being filled by God, we were being used by God. And it, it was just amazing for me. And I understand what this... For so long, I was an outcast where my vision was, you know, become like a child. A lot of people didn't really understand it. And finally, I feel like God gave me a family that not only accepts me, but understands my vision. Yes. And and we just ran with it. And not, not just my vision, but we ran with the fire of God. And it was just beautiful. And, and we couldn't wait to get here this Friday to celebrate and worship God. Woo! So, yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, This one line that really caught my attention, uh, this guy was talking, he said, if God doesn't exist, nothing matters. But if God does exist, nothing else matters. And I, I kind of started to think about it, and I, I realized that like maybe a year ago, I, well, I've been smoking for cigarettes for like 10 years already, since I was like 12. I know it's like a really small age to start, but I started, and I've been trying to quit for like a year, not like consecutively, but like quit and then I'd say, oh, forget it, I'm just going back. But recently, as I've started to get closer with God, my attempts, like each time they get more successful, but every time I get brought down. But what I thought about when they said, if God doesn't exist, nothing matters, but if it does exist, nothing else matters, 
you start to think about it that like if you're a Christian, you're not just doing what you are and you're like a regular person. You're you're stronger than everybody else. You're I, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but you technically are stronger like mentally because you can resist like temptations or, or bad things that come your way and you can resist them and put them away and find what's most important. And I believe when God comes into play that is that is a really strong connection. And what I wanted to just say is that since I've been getting closer to God my attempts have gotten more successful. So I, I pray that everybody here gets closer to God because this will definitely help train, strengthen your, uh, I don't know how to say this, your, your attempts to whatever is trying to motivate you to become a better person. So that's what I want to say. Amen. Hello. Um, last year when I came up here, I was sharing about how how many emotions I went through, how many. Um, I actually watched it the other day, and I had such a, so many testimonies, so many um, so many visions, so many revelations. And when I came to Campus Harvest this year. I didn't feel anything, honestly. I didn't, there was, I mean, yeah, I loved it, but there was nothing like, I didn't see vision after vision, I didn't see the Holy Spirit coming down. It wasn't like that, it was more of a, I was struggling throughout it all. And when Vinny brought it up, when we came up to the front, and we held up our idols in our hands, and I'm sitting, I'm standing there, and I'm holding it up, and I'm just like, going through everything that's been going on my mind and my heart and what I've been struggling with. And God is so good. Like, he's so good. Like, we focus on the problem that's in front of us. And we focus on it. We're like, God, help us, help us, help us, help us. And God is just like, well, this is the root of the problem. And he showed me clearly. I haven't seen a vision. I don't know how long. But but it's been a while. And all this time, I was just like, God, please, like, come on, I used to get them every time, what happened, like, what did I do wrong? And I realized I was being selfish, because when we come to God, he, we're like children, you know, and he feeds us in a different way, like me, he was feeding me with visions and all of these testimonies, and then when a child grows up, you know, you let it go, and the baby starts crawling, and then it gets up and it falls, and that's exactly what I was going through this year, and God... Um, well, the reason why I came, well, part of the reason why I came back to God was because of my ex-best friend, and it just hurt me a lot. And he showed me a vision of her, and um, how she's walking down these steps, and how she has such a huge smile on her face. And I'm just like, God, I wasn't even praying for her. I said I forgave her, like, I don't know, a hundred times, literally. I would say, I forgive her, I forgive her, I forgive her. And he showed the root of the problem, everything that I was going through and the root of the problem. And God's like, I'm not going to keep moving with you until you let go, until I cut that root off. And when he did, it just, I, I can't, I can't describe it because one of my biggest fears was to approach people in class. Like I always get this professor that's against God and he always talks about it. And I'm just sitting there, and my heart is beating, and I just want to say something. But then you're like, what if they're going to laugh at me? What if I'm going to look stupid, this and that? And all of these emotions, all of these thoughts that go through your head. And after Campus Harvest and through Vinny, honestly, like God showed me a lot to step out. Because this past week, I can't even begin to tell you what happened this past week. But it's just like, God, I needed that push, that literally that push, because... What happened this week, I was just like, okay, I'm not going to sit down and be quiet. And it got the whole class involved, and God is just moving. Like, he is so marvelous. It's, it's unexplainable. And one of the other things I wanted to point out is when we take a fast, it's really important. Like, if you say, I'm going to end it, for example, I said I'm going to end it by the end of the conference. And it was really hard for me. It was. I mean, we went to eat, what, <laughs> every two hours? <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, okay, water, water. But what kept sticking, like, what I kept reminding myself is Pastor Slava when he was talking about how many people don't reach 
God's glory, God's blessings, because they're so close to it. And when the pressure hits so high, and that moment when it counts the most, they did, like, for example, 40 days beforehand, you know, whatever it is, whatever they gave up. And when it gets so high and so tempting and the enemy's attacking and then they just drop and it's literally the blessings are right around the corner. And I'm so glad I stuck it through because I know God has been blessing me throughout this whole week. Like literally, I had a revival in me, within me, around me. So God is good. campus farmers where when I went just when I only knew Kata because I drove from home twice and the, so there I was making friends and here I went with people who are already know and then that was different with that and that we were worshiping God together we were praying together we were evangelizing together, screaming from the tower of our lungs, Jesus on the streets, Amen. and people were answering, and so that was amazing, and then um, they threw me an amazing birthday celebration, surprise birthday, twice, <laughs> yeah, and, when, and that blessing really continued, like when we were at the bowling alley, <laughs> we did dance right on, right there, and they played in the alleys, in the alleys and they played the, the Christian songs the, from the iPod, we could give them the iPod, and they put to play one song, and they started playing it, and they played like five songs, I like, think, and they did not stop, maybe more, was more, <laughs> so they just kept playing it, they wouldn't stop, and then everything is just amazing. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Everybody else? Come yeah. on, guys. Come on. Oh, we're in here, you guys. No? Come on, Alex. Come on, Alex. Come on. 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 Come
and just out of nowhere, the this waiter comes up and she just says, I forgot what she said, but she said something. And she's like, I'm a Christian, I'm on fire for God, and everyone was just so happy. And then at the end, uh, Vicky started praying for her, and then we turn around and we see like 20 people from Campus Harbor just praying and holding hands. No, that's 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 they were a church in L.A. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> church from L.A. And then we just all started, <laughs> we all started grabbing hands and just praying. And just all those workers were there. We just, we just brought the joy of Christ. And, wow. and I just pray that this fire will keep burning in our hearts and for us to keep glorifying God. Amen. questions a lot of times like there are different ways to respond you know and like um, I don't know I think I got reminded that questions are good because it was just th this year like I, I wasn't there the year before or the year before that I was there three years ago so I don't know I can't compare but this year I really felt like like they were really giving you a lot of that kind of information and you know apologetics and discussion that you can really use talking to people where I mean of course it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately brings people but you know when you're just having a discussion there was just so much for me to grab onto in terms of what you can say how you can share your faith how you know and just it was all just so deep like I don't know, I mean, honestly, I've had times when I sit at a sermon and be like, oh, I already know this, and that doesn't mean I don't need to hear it, I probably do, but, like, sometimes you feel like you've already heard this before, you know, I've been in church a long time, <laughs> you know, but um, it was just so, like, on so many levels, there was just so much, and then the seminars I went to, there was just, like, uh, historical evidence for the resurrection, so that was amazing, and then the... You know, just, I learned, like, so much. And it's like my, my, you know, sometimes you're kind of scared people will ask you questions. You're like, I want that question, but not that one, because I can't answer that one, you know, I want, I want the easy one. And that's like, I think that's different for me now, because, like, I'm like, bring it on, you know. <laughs> like, I really, I'm really open to that, you know, I and I just... Guys, don't be scared of questions, you know? Even from, like, professors with sarcasm behind it, still don't be scared, you know? Because because the sarcasm is a shield. Behind that, people really want to know. They really do. They, they, they don't want to show that they do, but they do. So if you're just, like, if you meet them right there, like Rice Brooks, he was talking about witnessing to a palm reader and all kinds of things, you know, and how... They're just people, you know, you're scared, but then you talk to them, and they're people who are searching for God, and they're hurting, and that just really came came home to me this time, so it was great, yes. <laughs> Which is not good, but like if she doesn't make them up, 
she can't come to church. So she's picking God over um, her husband. So, okay. On Friday, when I was supposed to go to Campus Harvest, in the morning, I started to have a fever, which I don't usually do, like, beforehand it starts out, like, at night, never in the morning. And, like, I was just in so much pain, like, my head was throbbing, but I had a test that day, so I had to go to school. Okay. So, after, I like, at 2 o'clock, I leave home early from school, and I just don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay in my house like just sleep in because I feel so sick like with every step I take I'm about to collapse so whatever I sleep and it's like my mom is like okay don't go to campus harvest because like you're completely sick you can't do this and my grandma is like don't go and she's like you is gonna yell at you and I'm like well I can't because like I want to go there I want to get closer to God I want to get this connection with him so yeah. whatever I go there <laughs> Then everything just starts irritating me. The train ride and like everything, my head is just spinning. I'm trying to keep it together, not to flip out and whatever. So I come in there and just it's starting to get worse. Like this pressure on me and I really don't want to be there. Like I just want to leave. And like I'm just praying to God and like just God help me, get me through this. And like I don't feel anything. And it's not like I usually feel from God, but I usually like... Sometimes, again, like, in the back of my head that he's there, but I didn't feel anything. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I start praying there. The whole night, I don't really remember anything because, like, I was just zoned out. I didn't feel good at all. I literally wanted to faint. So, like, I don't even remember what we did half the time. So on Saturday morning, I remember I had such, like, a high fever. Literally, my head was spinning, like seriously spinning. I did not want to go. I took painkillers and fever reducers, but they did not work. And that never happens to me. Like, the devil was trying to stop me so much. And, like, this whole time, I just don't want to do anything there. Not Nothing at all. Okay, to make the long story short, basically, um, we went to this prayer thingy, bajangi. Yeah, we went to the prayer. So they started praying for healing for me, but like I believe it in my heart that I'm like healed. I'm proclaiming it in my heart, but like I'm having this doubt that like I'm not actually healed and I'm like fighting myself. So at the prayer they're starting to pray for me and I just like burst into tears, like everything just comes out and I'm just crying there and I don't even know why I was crying there, but I felt so much better. But I wasn't completely healed healed because I knew that my fever was still there. So in about the end of, like at night, the ending of Campus Harvest, they started to pray for healing. And like everybody starts to pray around me and literally I just felt like something go like into me and out like Psh. And I just want to fall back, but like I hold myself, it's fine. And <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and well basically like everything just like clear like my head doesn't hurt anymore the fever there's nothing i just feel so peaceful like there's nothing i want to do except praise the lord like there's nothing else in my heart that's like, completely open and yeah that's pretty much it on the train ride right? i don't remember half the stuff because i was sleeping <laughs> and the rest you know from the ones that you shared already so how amazing the way it was and applebee's and how we were praying whatever it was awesome did you guys get another the waiter yeah, 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 we, yeah we we're yeah. we're connected <laughs> but when i come home the most amazing thing ever i was gone for three days because i came home on sunday uh middle of the day Eager did not even ask about me. Like, that is just so amazing because he's usually overprotective. He usually controls every single thing that I do, but he did not even ask about me. He went to upstate, apparently, with somebody. It was just so good. Like, it was amazing. Come on, brother. Close up of what 
happened to me. Um, like a few people mentioned here, it was a different experience. It wasn't really about the feelings and the emotions and the, the crazy tears and, and all of that, which I have experienced last year at Campus Harvest. Um, but what I can also say that changed, last year at Campus Harvest, um, basically you have a, a, to choose between several sessions, seminars to go to, and you get to uh, choose two of them. So one of them that I chose was basically how to implement God in your career, right? And I really felt like that's where he wanted me. But my number one thing was um, I went through a, a several majors in, in college. I chose the four years of college to walk away from God. So obviously I'm going to have problems, you know? So this was one of the problems. I didn't know where he wanted me, what I was born for. And um, so that was my main issue. And afterwards, on the, on the bus ride back, he showed to me where I should be. Right, but what's greater than that is that over this past year, I could even say over since the past uh, over the past couple months, um, God has taught me how to implement my uh, Him in my business. I used to teach Zumba and Pilates in a different studio, and everything was you know great. I had a great crowd that went with me. The money was good. Everything was good, and all of a sudden, right before um, uh, Sandy, right before Sandy, the Lord was just like. You know, you gotta, you gotta end this. You gotta quit. You have to start, you know, using my name in this business. So I started teaching the classes here by God's grace, and and you know, the pastors they allowed me to have it here in this studio, and um, which was amazing. But everybody who went, they stopped going. Everyone, right? Everyone was Jewish, and they didn't, they just didn't want, you know, to proclaim the name of Christ. So. It was very difficult for me because God promised that it would get big again. God promised that, you know, that those people would come back. But it was hard. I mean, you don't see, when you see only what, what's right in front of you, and you don't see the road ahead, it's so easy to get sidetracked. <clears throat> and now people are coming back from the past, right? And this doesn't really have anything to do with campus harvest, but just a quick thing. There's this one lady that now comes, and during those past couple of months that she hasn't been coming, she got injured really bad. Like she fell off the, the top bench of uh, sauna. Like she just fell and it was really bad. So she came to the past couple of classes and you know we pray before every class and I already noticed that it's not bothering her anymore, you know? And the Lord was just like, just pray for healing for her because she couldn't really move. So we laid hands on her, we prayed for her. She came back the next class two days later. I asked her how she was feeling and her and her friend were in shock and they're just like I'm better. Like, I'm feeling better. I'm healed. Her friend was just like, Nicole, you have one dimensional glass. And I'm just like, no, praise <laughs> Jesus. And she's like, I was afraid to say it. She's like, but I'm healed. And I know that God is going to continue doing this. But, oh. side note, basically, um, I'm a dancer for God. I was born to dance. This is yeah. what I do, right? But believe it or not, recently I've been very afraid. To dance on my own. To choreograph dances for a crowd, no problem. The Lord just works, gives visions, and it's great. When it's me by myself, I feel so much pressure. And there were times where I would choreograph a dance, come out on stage, forget everything. Forget everything completely. Right? And God is just like, you have to rely on the Holy Spirit, just on me. And I knew that he wanted me to get out there and dance in, in the public, right? So I went on vacation with my family um, a couple weeks ago for spring break. And I really got down to it. Um... I would, I would literally spend time with the Lord on the shore of the beach. Nobody was watching. And it was just such an intimate and close close relationship. And, and he was just there. And he literally showed me how to dance for him. And I would see my reflection in the sand. I was like, wow, I, I didn't know I could do that. Because here, like, there's mirrors. And I, I just, I don't know, I just go hard on myself. And I, I feel like it just doesn't come out the way it is in my mind. There was this one conference, right? Um that I really, really wanted to go to. Basically, it's in the middle of Times Square, and all the dancers from New York and from all around get to come and perform. Okay, this is, did you guys hear me? The middle of Times Square, outside, there's a stage, and you can come and perform. And I felt like God was just like, go, do it, do it, do it. But everything was just stopping me. The fear was put just completely, you know, dragging me behind. And I'm like, wait, but there's the money issue, because it's like $300. It's, you know, I have exams coming up in school, registration, I have to film a video of myself dancing and send it in, right? My issue is I usually choreograph the dances, and when I come out, they don't come out the way I want them to. So I was like, whatever, I'm not going to do it. So at the conference, while the girls and the guys were in the prayer session where 
as I hear you guys got a lot of revelations and that was great, right? But I got my revelation as well. I wasn't there. The Lord told me to leave and he told me to go um, into the actual, the, the huge room, right? Where everything was going on and the band was rehearsing. And I just started dancing for him in the back. I just started praising him. And I knew people were watching. And it was great. But, you know, there's, there's singing. Huh, da, 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 and then there's just like, okay, check, one, two, one, two. And, you know, it flows kind of, uh, it, it gets <laughs> off a little bit. But I just kept going. And then, thank God for that. Because um, during the actual worship service that night, um, I went back there where I was. And I just started praising him. Okay, let, listen to this part. I was carrying around flags. And like the guy yeah. to dance with the whole weekend, so I'm like, I'm standing there with my huge flags, and everyone's kind of asking, like, okay, like, are you gonna use them, you know? <laughs> so I finally got to use them. Masha came and she joined me. There was another um, uh, praise dancer there, and she said that the reason she came out is because somebody told her that there was someone dancing during the rehearsals. So she came out, and it was just amazing, like, that unity there. I literally stepped over that fear, that fear that I had. There were cameras going around filming me. There were people watching, and I did, just didn't care. It was as if it's just me and the Lord and no one else around, right? So that is what I went through. That was an amazing thing. And just to, to end this off, um, so this conference, right, that's in the middle of Times Square, which is, by the way, next week, I let go of it. And I'm like, whatever, I won't do it this year. I'll do it another year. And at Applebee's, two seconds, two more minutes, at Applebee's, that waitress that we spoke to, her sister, ready? Her sister, Nadia Torres, is one of the, uh, the videos, the girl of the videos that I was watching, these, I don't even know, past couple of months, and she was the person who made me go forward and want to do this, okay? And I find out this is her sister. I'm just like, this is crazy, like this has to be from God, right? But at the same time, it's just like, okay, how am I going to do it? It's next week. The registration is over. There's, there's no way, right? So, and then I was, I was uh, talking to her. I was messaging, messaging her on Facebook, and she's like, here's the information of the executive producer. Message her, right? So I was like, okay, whatever. I don't know. I'll see. And I kind of just gave up. I'm like, not this year. My wonderful cousin and sister, she surprised me yesterday and told me that it's all taken care of. She got in contact with the executive producer. She paid the whole the whole thing for it. She got me a spot, a solo on stage. Like, do you guys, I don't know if you guys, okay. For me, for me, this is the best thing I think you ever do for me because like, this, look, and God is literally just like, okay, now you have to go. You don't have a choice. So, and I just, and Canvas Harvest helped do that for me, right? And it's a conference, right? And it's, a lot of times we go to these conferences, we come back, and we're just like, oh, it was great. You know, we did our conference thing, and we go back to our own lives. No, God is going to challenge you, right? God is going to challenge you to keep going forward, to, to keep moving in the path that, that he has in store for you, right? We kept going around, like everyone said, you know, screaming out the name of Jesus. And it was great. I just encourage you guys to, you know, not just look at these conferences, but really have that relationship with him and connection with him. And just before I finish, two, two seconds, um, I want to show you guys a quick video, a promo video of this conference that's happening next week. I would love if you guys can come join. The, there was an open spot for me next Saturday. And um, it's free for anyone. And it's literally outside, so whoever passes by is going to see it. This is a great way to evangelize. There's prayers going on outside. So I would really encourage you guys to come. I would really be happy if you would. I'm not sure about the time because I have to send them the video and they have to watch through all the videos and see what time, who goes out at what time. So I'll send you guys the information. It would be awesome. What day is it? It's next weekend, Friday through Sunday, but I'm performing on Saturday. Okay? Thank you, guys.
It's nice. Nice, guys. It's uh, you know, so awesome to hear how God is moving, you know, in the testimonies. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. What I can say, guys, just, you know, keep it up. Don't let it uh, kind of like an fire. That fire disappear. You know, just keep it up. Okay? This is not the, uh, the conference. It's not the, you know, uh, everything that God has for you. You understand me, guys? See, this is just, a, you know, like this is just, just the beginning. You take that fire uh, and go with that fire further <laughs> everywhere you go. Okay? That's just a, for you, just another push that you can uh, spend more time with God. You know, reading Bible, praying, uh, spending just, a, you know, quality time with Him. All right? And that's how you're going to uh, keep it up. Okay, that's my word to you guys. Uh, it's a little bit unexpectedly 10, 10, 10, 10 right now. <laughs> it's 10, 10. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know where your children are. Yeah, yeah it's, you don't have to have a story, guys. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's God's uh, uh, service. Anyways, you know, the testimonies is the service. I'm just, um, let me ask you a question, guys. I need like another maybe 30, 40 minutes. To, to, to finish my, my stuff, uh, how do you feel about it? We have fairly curfews. Uh, what? About <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, can... uh, God's will be done. <laughs> you got something from the Lord in speech. Uh, yeah, I have what, like, you know, I have, I have what to say. Well, I can say it next time. <laughs> I'm just uh, thinking, nice, it's not too late for us to, to you know, continue. How, how crowd is feeling? You're like, come on, just be open, it's fine. You know? <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Sorry. <I don't> know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how feeling, that's how I'm feeling. Though. Yeah, I just, you know, like, really, I, I don't want to, like, uh, break it. Uh, you know, you wanna, I want this message to be sent. Um, you can get Maybe it's not, uh, maybe maybe no. not today, but I don't want to break it apart. So, uh, okay. right, so let's just do this. Uh, we can pray it. We can pray tonight. I think that's you guys blessed tonight with the testimony. Yeah. Yes. Actually, my, my uh, sermon tonight was about testimony, power of testimony. Okay. Uh, and I, and uh, I uh, you know, that's why I'm struggling to do it now. But I understand it's 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 late already, and I don't want you to sleep uh, during the during the you know preaching. So. Um, Guys, let's do this. Uh, let's 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 let me do it next time, okay? And today we just um, we're just gonna finish and wanna pray, yeah? yeah let, 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 let's let's pray and, and and you know we'll we'll probably have a tea, right? Mm-hmm. Have a tea, some fellowship tonight, okay? Woo! You guys do it? Yeah. Let's do it. How is it? How is it? I'm gonna pray in Russian, guys, so if you don't understand Russian, just, uh, yeah, just pray. Oh. Hallelujah. It's for the Vladimirti, I guess, I guess, the Vladimirti, 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 the на этой конференции, пускай он продолжается, пускай это не будет конец, Господь. Я благодарю Тебя, Иисус, за то, что Ты даешь эту силу. Я благодарю Тебя за каждое свидетельство, Господь. Я благодарю Тебя за, за, за каждое свидетельство, Господь. Аллилуйя, благодарю, Господь. Я прошу, Господь, перенести благословение в каждую семью, в каждую ситуацию. Если кто-то здесь, на этом месте, еще имеет какие-то нужды или какие-то ну, проблемы в жизни, я прошу, Господь, пускай Твое разрешение, пускай, Господь, Твоя Огонь придет и разрушит всякую твердину, твердыню, всякую стену, которая стоит между тобой и, и между ними, Господь. Аллилуйя, я раздаваю имя Иисуса. Имя Иисуса я раздаваю каждую твердыню, твердыню. Слава Тебе, Слава Тебе, Господь. Благодарю Тебя, Отец Небесный. Благодарю Тебя, Господь, за молодежь. Я благодарю Тебя, Господь. Я, мы сейчас помолимся, давайте, uh, let's pray for our pastor, uh, for Isaiah, for all uh, people who went uh, you know, to, the, uh, to the West Coast. If you didn't know that they went to the evangelical event and uh, they're going to uh, 
uh, perform a con concert over there, and it's going to be an angelical concert. And uh, let's just pray over, okay? Because they need they need our prayer. Prayer is is the biggest yeah. we, can, we can do right now, all right? Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Господь, я благодарю тебя, отец небесный, за наших пасторов. Я благодарю тебя, Господь, за Исаия. Я благодарю тебя, Господь, за пастора Юра. Я благодарю тебя, Господь, за worship team. Я благодарю тебя, Господь, за, за всех братьев и сестер, которые поехали туда, отец небесный. Прошу, чтобы твое благословение было было с ними сейчас. Господь, пускай твоя мудрость будет Пускай это будет не их голос, пускай это будет твой голос, во имя Иисуса Христа. Пускай они досягают, этот голос досягает сердец людей, неверующих людей, которые придут туда. Господь, пускай Дух Святой будет там, на этом месте, где они, Господь. Аллилуйя, мы благословляем. Мы благословляем также все семьи, каждую семью. Господь, если жена осталась здесь, благослови жену, среди детей, Господь. Просто пускай придет твое, просто твое благословение, Господь. Слава. Покрой, Господь, каждую нужду, Господь, каждую нужду, которую они могут быть, каждая нужда, пускай будет покрыта именем Иисуса Христа. Мы молимся. And we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.